to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. Welcome back to the bench, ladies and gentlemen. Today we got ourselves a speed painting and a review using the potentate alcohol-based markers. I feel like I said that wrong, but we're gonna keep it moving. This video is, of course, sponsored by BombingScience.com. I'll have a link to them in the description down below, as well as a link to this product if you guys think that you wanna buy it. Now, with all that said, all of my opinions and thoughts on these markers are gonna be 100% honest and genuine. I'm not gonna go ahead and, like, misconstrue things just because they threw some free markers my way. But these do look pretty good. I've never heard of this, I've never used them, so I'm pretty curious as to how they work. Okay, so to start off, we're going to test how vibrant each color is, just pretty much how it looks. Here we have the salad color, which is green. You can still see like some of the marker lines, so I think this is going to be one of those colors that you have to use a little bit faster. But if you do it at a pretty decent speed, you should be fine with this marker. That's the salad color. Here we have yellow, which is the bright sun yellow that, uh, that I kind of like. Now these markers actually have two sides to them. They have the chisel tip, which we've been using, and then they have the fine point nib, which is as you would expect. The nib is pretty firm, which I'm a fan of personally. And I'm curious to see if these nibs would get a little bit more malleable as we use them. Which I'm not opposed to that. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, if you go in a circular direction, then you don't really get these, these streaky lines anymore. Which I know that's the case for some markers. You can see that we have the streaks right there. But if we go in a circular motion, that kind of just mitigates that streakiness if you do that that way. So that's probably going to be the way you're going to want to use these markers. So let's try it with another color, right? We'll do our, our shape, and then we'll go in a circular motion, and then we'll come over here. That blue is beautiful. Look at that blue. Ooh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, so you're definitely going to want to use these in a more circular motion so you avoid those streaks completely. Oh my goodness. We're, guys, we're using blue. This 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 piece for sure because this blue is too gorgeous. Too gorgeous. I wonder how it's popping up on the other side. It goes through one page, two pages right back here, but it doesn't reach back here. Every single marker is going to do that. You really can't help that unless you take another sheet of paper and slide it underneath the page that you're drawing on so it doesn't get on this page right here. I personally don't really care care for this specific book, which is why I'm using it for this test. So, you know, I don't I don't mind. I don't mind. Let's see how this orange looks. I love orange, man. I love the color orange. Let's see how it... Oh, man. Oh, man. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. Ah, it's so satisfying using, a, like, a really nice, vibrant color. And then we got brown. We'll go over here for the brown. Now, something I do want to note is if you get good at controlling these markers, there's a technique where you can shade things and do multiple, like, intense of the same color based on its streakiness, right? I'll show you guys what, that with the next uh, with the next color. We'll use the red for that. I know this marker is a little bit streaky. It's not going to come out at its full intensity if I just draw a line, right? So what we can do is, is we can do something like, and this is just to give you an idea, obviously, and boom. Obviously, I would clean this up. You know, I would, I would come in here with a little bit nicer stroke in order to get rid of those white areas, and then you have really easy shading. So if you can control that streakiness, then you should actually be able to get some effects out of that like so and mind you this is my first time using the markers I've never used them before so I don't know how to control these markers you know that's just something I remember from back way back in the day when I used to be good with markers because there, there came a point in my my you know artistic career where I stopped coloring things and instead I did all black and whites for the most part for the most part with that it, it had some effects on my colors obviously because I wasn't practicing them it helped a lot with learning the fundamentals of the art forms I was doing that with back to the markers right now we're just focused on, on the color intensity of each one and then we have our black, which I'm hoping this is beautiful and doesn't get super streaky. Ah, you still get streaks there. It's kind of what we've come to expect from these markers. And once again, if we go in our circular motion, you get a nice, beautiful, vibrant, even color. So then if we take the colors and we check their coverage, obviously black is going to cover pretty much everything. Now, see, when it comes to alcohol-based markers, what you got to understand is they're pretty transparent. So you kind of don't want your alcohol markers to really cover all that amazingly like a paint marker would. That's the, the benefit of paint markers is they cover amazingly. With an alcohol marker, instead what you have is the option to do different effects and techniques. So you can see kind of like how the red affected this purple and how the orange affected, you know, this green and how the orange affected the blues and whatnot. And it can give you some pretty cool effects. So that's the great thing about alcohol-based markers. Look at how this blue affects that purple. That's beautiful. That reminds me of like the 80s, man. That's a dope, dope effect right there. I like that. I'd say so far the only downfall to these markers, and we still have to check blending. Keep 
that in mind. But the only downfall so far is the streakiness. And once again, as I said, if you learn how to control it, you can actually get some pretty cool effects out of it. A lot of artists do prefer a much more clean cut marker that has really easy coverage and doesn't streak at all whatsoever. So if you're one of those artists, then these markers may not be for you. But if you are okay with doing more of a rounded motion while you color, these markers may be up your alley because they are pretty good in pretty much every other category. And lastly, we have the yellow and how that overlays on top of things. We'll go over here, see how that is. All right, now let's see how these colors blend. We're gonna take our rose red. Ooh, I'm gonna lay that down in a circular fashion so that we don't get our streaks. We're gonna extend it past. And we're gonna take our red, bring it into it, extend it past, and then do our, our new surface that we're painting in. All right, I'd say these colors do blend pretty well. These markers have the capability of blending, always provided that you have the correct colors to do it. If you try blending black into yellow, it's just not gonna work, right? So you do have to have the correct colors to blend, and if you do, you should be able to. Upsides to the marker, you're getting nice, vibrant, beautiful colors. And you can do a lot of effects with these markers, such as changing the color in order to get a different effect such as this, or even layering colors in order to make a new color. The downside, they are streaky, as shown with the green and yellow, which are a little bit difficult to see on the camera, but you can see it here. So they are a little bit streaky, but if you color in a more circular fashion, then you can remedy that issue. On the flip side, if you get really good with these markers, you can control that streaky effect to give you a less intense color and then use a circular motion in order to give you a more intense color which can give you the illusion of shading. All I want for my 90th birthday is peace of mind The life of feeling fine, never see my car decline Yeezy told me in my dream to keep working all daily Drizzy told me to remember the city that made me Then I woke up, dope life like Hulk up Special records with hella records abandoned Oh five, ribbon on the mic cause I'm so damn gifted Vicious with the riddle, bitches snapping next on biscuits Since 15, lyrics blessed like the Sistine Since 16, wallet looking like some mixed greens I'm Birdman meets Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton I need a thick white girl, Nikki Heaton My gut growing, yeah, I stay eating They can't stomach me, pretend they all sleeping Call me the break, cause my mattress say shit Pointing at my thumbs, yelling action, making flicks Hearing your reaction when I'm blessing all my shit Eyes wide open, competition croaking Haters lose they cool like I left they fridge open Vader with the paper, guess my dark side is showing I run this bitch like a winner of a dog show Got a big nose, still waiting here for God's blow I smell the bullshit cooking from a mile away I'm always slept on cause all day I'm wide awake I see your eyelids stranded on my island I'm a castaway but I'm quiet not silent Formulating my words for when it's my turn I might be turning to 11 levels blessing years from here to heaven But the devil catch a wind so I bless the treble Sound basic, no bass left So I'm left with icy And I see that I gotta stay icy I mean I'm cool but these girls too salty Bitch so basic that I wedged out of old key in control, so I shift the conversation Enter in the house, then I end, so I'm escaping I see you now, you say you're wild on your keyboard In principle, I live in Springfield like Seymour Cartoon lifestyle with brushes like the seafloor Had a tongue twisted like I'm Sally at the seashore Oh, you rap? I'm a wordsmith, tongue a serpent Make the beat my servant Will you win this shit? Yeah, right, I'm certain Got the beat blushing, turn up the heat or something Burning like some cedar crumbling function When I'm rushing on my flows Drinking like a Russian gushing on my words Still it's no discussion Do it live and I'll make it sound inanimate Just pass the W, the shit was unanimous I'm having this And they all wanna stop me day and night But they just don't understand that I do this right I do it Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys enjoy the little speed painting. So to round out this video before we end, I want to give my final thoughts on these markers. The markers gave me nice, vibrant colors as you can see here, and you can even see the coverage is really smooth and very, very, very good. The colors were able to blend well with one another, I blended the red into the red rose, and I was able to get the blues to blend as well. I used pretty much all of the markers in this set other than the black and the dark purple, only because there wasn't really room in here for them, as well as the brown, I didn't use the brown for this, once again for the same reasons, but these are very good quality. 
quality, so if you guys are interested, I'll have a link to them in the description down below. Huge thank you to Bomba Snacks for supplying these markers to me. Now, if you guys enjoy the speed painting, destroy that like button. Let's see if we can get 250 or 300 likes on this video. In, and in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the piece we did. This right here is a new hybrid style I was working on, and I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I like the way it came out. Now, for those guys who are new here, we come out with weekly art content, and it can be anything from a traditional oil painting, like what you guys have seen behind me. Maybe we do a drawing, a fun cartoon, and even some graffiti. So if this sounds like something you don't want to miss out on, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. As always, I'll catch you guys next time, but until then, peace.